Hi again, this is uh, another video, this time on uh, how to chat to Facebook support, uh, in this case like live chat, um, which is I found the best way to quickly get an answer to your problems. Not all the time, but uh, we're going to get into that. So here we go. And um, some points I wrote, wrote down is number one, it's best not to email them. Um, you have to wait way too long to get a response. Uh, it's never instant. It might be a day, it might be two days, or as I put here, if they reply at all, because um, I've found in the past that they just, a lot of the time, they won't even bother to reply. So um, it's way better, in my opinion, to, to get support on live chat, and uh, you often get an instant solution or an answer if you have a... Uh, a question about your your ads your ad account or something like that um, some rules I guess for uh, chat yeah, importantly no matter how wound up you might be or angry you've got some problem your ads aren't running they're not spending they've not been approved as a as an internet marketer all these situations and many more can make you extremely angry I know they do me <laughs> so uh, it's quite easy to you get someone on chat and your first reaction is to scream at them and basically be rude now um, I have learned over many years that this will never work um, it's important to bear in mind that it's just a person you're speaking to at the other end and um, while they might work for Facebook um, if you're rude to them and you scream at them and you type in caps letters, you use bad language, they're really not going to want to help you. So that, in my opinion, is the quickest way to not be helped. So no matter how angry you might be, always be polite, be respectful, use your manners. Use please and thank you. I try and um, like have a bit of a chat with them, you know, ask them, ask them how they are or whatever, you know, just anything that makes you stand out from every, everyone else um, a little politeness will take you a long way and that that applies across the board it's not only when talking to Facebook support it's when you're talking with other marketers anyone online your mum <laughs> just anybody you know I find that um, being polite is extremely helpful so uh, next um, you can't chat to Facebook support 24 hours a day. They do keep the normal kind of business hours. So if you log on to the link that I'm going to give you in a minute and it's like 8 at night or midnight or 2 in the morning, you're not going to be able to get a hold of them. So this um, is only applicable to um, in the business hours. All right. And um, the link you will use is here. I've, uh, I'll paste this in the description as well. It's facebook.com slash business slash form slash chat. And um, what we're going to do is just open that in a new tab. And you get to this page here. Now, I'm going to blur out some of the information here. So if you're wondering why that is, it's just because I don't want you to uh, see my personal information, ad accounts, etc. So, um, so you need to put in a number because they will call you back a lot of the time if you have a query that the person you speak to is not 100% on they will take your details and they will either email you or they will ring you back um, and I found nine times out of ten when you use this place to speak to them they, they will actually get back to you either over email or they'll call you or both a lot of the time so make sure they can get a hold of you um, put in your telephone number your email you can pick which other account that you're using here um, you can also pick if it's linked to a particular Facebook page you can pick that as well and then put what is your question about so uh, ads in this case and then you'll get some other you know you've got some other options to pick here and if we just go back to the uh, sheet what what will happen when you first open it up is they'll they'll hit you with a bot right we, 
which I'm going to demonstrate to you right here. So if we do start chat, it will, in a minute, it will open a window. Here we go. And um, you can connect through there. It will open up um, a window and it will be automated messages or a bot. Now, you can easily get lost in these um, and basically not, you don't get the help that you need or they'll put you in a different place. So here's a quick little hack to um, easily circumvent this. You click get started. It will start asking you these nonsense questions here and I just type in some nonsense, right? And just click enter. That will confuse the bot and then it should in a minute pop up that it will connect you to an operator. There we go, you see, um, and you're in a queue, right? So that's a quick little hack. Not many people will know about that. If you just put in some nonsense, that confuses the bot and it will instantly connect you with a representative. And I'm in a queue here now. I don't actually want to talk to anyone, so I'm going to exit the window, okay? so. That's how you get through into live chat. It's really easy. Um, I'll go back to this. When you do get to speak to a person, be polite, use your manners. And um, some of the things I've found are, you, you know, not trying to be nasty to the people who work for them, but every now and again, you, you will get a person who obviously has no clue what they're talking about. Maybe they're, they're new. Maybe you just know more than them about ads or, or whatever. Um, this will happen. You know, they'll run rings around you trying to tell you that your problem is this when you know it's that or whatever. So in those kind of situations, I remain polite, say thank you, exit the chat, wait five minutes and then try again. And then you'll be connected to another person and you'll probably get help. Um, this happened to me the other week. Some ads of mine weren't being approved. Um, I knew that it was nothing to do with um, my product page. And I had this woman on chat just trying, she went through all these reasons, you know, your ads are being not approved because of this and that, and just told me all these reasons that, no offense to her, I knew were, were nonsense. And so I said thank you. Um, exited the chat, waited a few minutes, went back into another chat and got hold of a guy who immediately knew what the actual problem was. He was really nice and helpful and he like helped me out and w within a minute we had it all resolved. So that's another thing to bear in mind. And as well, lastly, um, even if you, you get through to talk to a person, as I've shown you how to here, it's not always 100% that they'll be able to fix your issue. Um, sometimes they won't know how to help you. They'll have to refer the problem up the chain to someone else or they'll want to get back to you within an hour or two hours or they'll ring you later. So it all really depends on what your issue is. Um, but yeah, um, again, this is kind of answering another Question I say a lot, people are emailing uh, ads, uh, the, the, the business manager, like there's a link in there to email if you've got any problems or any questions and um, they're emailing and then you, know, you have to wait a day or two days or even longer before they get back to you and then you, you, the answer is not adequate. So um, I will always chat live in, if I get an issue that way and um, I will pop this link um, here. Uh, this will be in the description of the YouTube video. So use that when you get an issue.